Let me ask you, first of all, most people obviously know you from punk right? Yeah. The punk show where, where you did the setting up of a lot of the pranks, and you were very good at it. Instrumental. Instrumental. Yeah. The pranks could not occur without you. No, I like to think so. Uh, Although I left the show and they're still occurring, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Ignore that. Yeah, yeah okay. Um, I'm I don't believe in proof for the scientific <laughs> method. I just kind of wing things, and I work on my gut instincts. Good, good, yeah. and it's working for you. That's yeah. the important thing. Ask me what uh, temperature water boils at. What does water boil at? 100 today. <laughs> You're yeah. just wrong. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> yeah. So you say. Yeah, so I say. Uh, let me ask you, if people know you from punk, you must be getting asked all the time to do a punk you know, uh, yeah, uh, prank for somebody. Yeah, often I will meet someone that'll say, Oh my God, you gotta punk my friend. Right. And I'll go, oh wow, you're friends with a movie star? And they'll say, no, 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 she's a waitress. Right. And then I'll say, well, you've seen the show, it's all celebrities. Right. Unless, is your friend the most famous waitress in the world? Wow. <laughs> you oh, yeah, bastard. A holder of a Guinness Book <laughs> yeah. World Record or yeah, something? Yeah, right, right. Uh, but the, a weird one that happened is I was in uh, Vegas for a fight, and I was leaving the fight, and I was in the hallway, and Mike Tyson came up to me and said, um, I want to punk somebody. I do a horrible Mike Tyson, but anyways, <laughs> bear with me. That sounds like, I, uh, so yours is like Jay Leno. Or if there's a cartoon version. Yeah, my name's yeah. uh, Mike Tyson, and I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> um, so he says, um, I want to punk somebody. And I go, well, you're Mike Tyson, you can do whatever you'd like. Yeah. And he said, but I want to do it with you, you're really funny. And it really is like Jay Leno, isn't it? Yeah. I should now start doing a Jay Leno impersonation. <laughs> no, I didn't but, know but I could it, do it. So this is supposed to be flattering. Yeah, I Mike was Tyson... so flattered because I was with a friend and it was really exciting. Mike Tyson knew who I was. So um, literally a week later, seven days, I'm at the Lakers game uh, and I'm walking outside and I'm waiting to get my car. And my buddy goes, oh my God, look, it's Mike Tyson. And I want to big time it and show him, hey, I got some clout. Let me show you who I'm friends with. So I go over to say hi to Mike and I say, Mike, how are you doing? And he goes, who are you? <laughs> it's a week later. So yeah. I think, oh, he's showing me how believable he is when right. he go, does punk. So I go, wow, that was really believable, Mike. And he goes, get on my face or I'll break your head open. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized he wasn't, somehow in seven days, he went from being a fan of mine to not even knowing who I was. Yeah. Like he must have watched an episode of Punk in the hotel room minutes before the fight. <laughs> and then in that week, some things happen. Some stuff it's just happened. gone. Gone. It's yeah, gone. he's constantly cleaning his hard drive. So he's just <laughs> dumping things in the trash. He's like, I was the boxer once, really? Yeah, no, I wasn't. I'd be very curious to even hear his punked prank. Like, what? It probably just involves, like, let's ring that guy's doorbell and then punch his face yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to tap him on the shoulder yeah. and then knock him out forever. <laughs> yeah. And then he'll be dead and we'll say you're punked. Yeah. <laughs> We'll film it at the funeral. It'll be funny. Now, you mentioned you go to Vegas. You, you like to go to Vegas a lot. Do you get... The thing I've noticed about Las Vegas is, you know, y y there's so many people around that, it, that you must get hassled. Like, if you're going to get recognized anywhere, it's going to be in Vegas where yeah. everyone's walking around, they got a camera. Do you get bothered a lot? Well, um, I had a really strange uh, thing that happened uh, a couple weeks ago, actually. It was in Vegas, and um, I was trying to find a friend inside the casino, so I was on my cell phone, like, walking around the casino, a little bit lost. Mm -hmm. And then that's all that happened. That's the entire story. Right. And then the next night, I'm playing blackjack and this girl comes up to me and she goes wow i heard what happened last night and i go what happened last night she goes well you got you were trying to get in the nightclub and they wouldn't let you in because you were wearing flip-flops and then the bouncer pushed you and now in her defense i was wearing flip-flops but that's all that happened and then i thought how did this happen who right. told her this crazy story and then i realized i do it all the time here's what happened he said i saw that dude dax shepherd in line and she was like and because i'm not that big of a star right. like tom cruise you can just say i saw tom cruise oh my god that's Insane. Right. But she said Dak Shepard and then nothing. He go and then he realized I don't have enough story here. Right. I gotta add something. Right. So he remembered I had flip-flops on. He said they wouldn't let him into the nightclub because he had flip-flops on. And then he got mouthy. Now she's interested. And then he closes big with the bouncer pushed him. That's what happened. Right, they keep adding stuff. Right. Like I might say to you, because I realize I do this all the time. Like I might say to you, I saw a Ferrari Enzo today. Right. And you're not that into cars. Right. So you'd be like, so? Right. And then, I, then I'd have to start improving. I'd go, there was an eight-year-old driving. <laughs> and and now you're interested. An eight-year-old was driving a... Yeah, and now I got a, I need a big finish. He smashed into a Walmart. <laughs> so right into it. Yeah. And I'll say, well, how come I didn't read about this on the news? Because um, the minors are protected. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. You're good. And Walmart, they don't, want pan they don't want shoppers to panic at Walmart. Exactly, Walmart tapered the whole yeah. thing over. Ferrari doesn't want you to think you can lose control of <laughs> your car.